everybody! Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. So, I finally got a chance to sneak into my craft room and do another craft video for all you gals and maybe some of you guys out there who are crafty and wanting to see another craft video. We've obviously been really busy with the van and doing a lot of other fun things with family and friends. So, today I got a chance to come into my craft room and have a little bit of fun. So what I wanted to talk about today is a really, really cool um, little device. It's called a water brush pen and it is really awesome. I think that um, once you guys see how to use it, you'll be really excited to go get one yourself. Um, this I bought at Michael's. I used my coupon. I believe it was about $5.99. I used my 40% um, off coupon. So it was only a few dollars. I've had it for several years and it works great. So the way it works is it has this bottom area that um, screws off. I just fill a little container with water. I squeeze it and let the water get sucked up into it just like that. So I have some water down at the bottom. I'm going to screw it back in here and take the lid off and I just kind of rub it on my hand until I get some water coming out and now I can feel a little moisture. The really awesome thing about this is it now works like a paintbrush and you don't have to continue dipping your paintbrush in water. It's already filled with water so it, it continues to stay moist. So. I want to show you two different things. The first thing I want to show you is I have stamped, um, I have this wooden stamp called Thanks a Bunch with these really cute little flowers. It's a really cute bouquet. So I have stamped that here on my paper and I have three stamp pads here. They are three close to my heart stamp pads, Clover Meadow, Hydrangea, and Watermelon. And so I'm just going to use my water brush and I'm going to squeeze my ink pad together so that this becomes my palette of ink. And then all I have to do is color in the areas that I want green. And it makes such an awesome watercolor effect. The really cool thing is, like I already mentioned, the brush stays wet. You never have to dip it in water unless you are needing a refill. So then off to the side, I'm just going to clean my brush. If you give it a little squeeze, it sends a little water out. And you can see that the color goes away. So now I'm ready to use my purple. I'm gonna squeeze it. And once again, I'm just gonna use this as my palette and paint some pretty little flowers here using this purple. If you want the color to be darker, you can use a little more ink. And if you want the color to be lighter, keep using it until it's almost out of ink and you can get a softer purple effect. But as you can see, it's really easy to use. It's really, really makes a cool effect. I'm now done with the purple. I'm gonna squeeze over here and get the purple all off and let's move on to watermelon. I'm gonna paint my pretty little rosebuds using water, watermelon. And I'm going to do the centers darker and then I'm going to just pull this out and try to get a little bit of a lighter effect for the bottom of the flower and see how you can manipulate the color using the same stamp pad. Um, it's really, really awesome. So I'm going to put my lid on. For this now, I have made a quick and easy card because I have a really cool pad of paper that matches the colors I've used. And then all I need to do is, let's see, let's find a paper that I like for this sample. Maybe even this. All I would have to do is put a background paper on, add my painted thanks a bunch, and I have a really cute, simple, quick and easy card to give to somebody. Obviously, you could choose different colors for different themes, different occasions, um, but it's really cute, it's really easy, and you can do it with all different things. Another really awesome idea is I have this really cute Valentine's set, and I have had a lot of children, um, friends, family, things that, you know, people 
that have children that come over and we have stamped these and made their valentines. Children love using the water pen. It's really, really easy to use. It's really, really fun to use. So for this little guy, I'm just gonna use my watermelon again. And I'm just going to paint in the heart. It's so easy, kids can do it. I mean, there really is no wrong or right way to do it. It's so easy. It's just like watercoloring. And that's why I think um, everyone would love to have this brush. I mean, it's just e nice to have on hand. It's not, you know, too much to store. You really can do a lot of cool things with it. And it's easy to use. So my recommendation is the water brush. It is very inexpensive. Like I said, you can get it at Michael's I know for sure. I'm sure you can probably get it at Walmart in the craft section. I know you can get it at Joann's. And I also know that companies like Close to My Heart sell it. I know the one from Close to My Heart is blue, um, but it's really awesome also. So keep this in mind if you're looking for a fun new uh, technique to try. This is really, really inexpensive. Um, it does a lot of awesome things. You can do it at Christmas time when you're making your Christmas cards or your tags. and. Um, it's fun for kids to use as well. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Um, if you didn't see my last craft video, I know it's been a while, but I'm gonna put that over here. So click over here to watch my last video if you haven't seen it yet. And if you're new to our channel, click this picture of us over here and make sure you subscribe so you get notifications and see whenever we post new videos. Thanks again for watching. Bye.